Modern airliners are equipped with sophisticated computers commonly called a flight management system. A pilot can interact with the same using MCDU which is multi-purpose control display unit. I am Utkarsh, welcome to flight level 070 and today we will see how to prepare this computer before each flight. I am rated on the Airbus A320 and I will prepare the MCDU of the same. I will be using a computer software for the same and this video will be in continuation of the previous two videos for which I will give the link in the description below. So join me in setting up this computer so that we can take flight. Welcome back to the PC. I will first give an outline on the FMGC or you can call it the MCDU here. Any boxed field is mandatory to be filled. Any blue entry can be changed by the pilot. Any green field is generated by the FMS and cannot be changed. A small font indicates that it is FMS computed. And if I make a manual entry of the same VOR, the font size will change. The large font indicates it is manually entered. For the preparation of the FMGC, we will use an acronym called DIFSDRIP. So let us begin with the preparing the MCDU. D stands for data. In data, we go to aircraft status. Check the aircraft type, engine type, validity of the nav database. And from the CFP, check the perf factor. Then we move to init. Enter from to. For example, we will put VILK oblique VILK. So, if there is a company route, there will be a pop up and you can select a company route. Insert an alternate, we will assume Delhi as the alternate. Flight number should be as per the ECAO flight plan, we will write as flight level 070. Cost index is a factor of uh, cost of time upon cost of fuel which will be given to you by the operator. We will assume that to be 10. Cruise level will take 300 and ISA deviation. So let us say if it is plus 4, I will put an ISA temperature of minus 40. Tropo pause level as per the forecast. Then we move to flight plan. In flight plan, you select the departure field L1 line select key, departure, select the appropriate runway, we will assume runway 27 and there is no SID, so we select no SID. So runway 27 which is equipped with ILS, no SID and no transition, insert. Thereafter, you check the complete routing, after which you will select arrival runway at destination, which can be done at a later stage as well. Then we move to secondary flight plan. Secondary flight plan is not available in this software. So we assume that we make a copy of the active or we can make it as a quick return back to the departure field or the departure alternate. RADNAV, I have manually tuned VR Lima Kilo November. Then we will move to the init B page and insert the zero fuel weight and the zero fuel weight CG. I will just put some random numbers. Insert the block fuel, check the takeoff weight and the landing weight. Insert the trip wind as per the CFP. Plus 50 is tailwinds, minus 50 would have been headwinds. Insert the route reserve as per fuel policy, insert alternate fuel, check the MDF and check the extra time. And move to performance page, as per the init B takeoff weight, you calculate the performance and insert the performance values. So beginning the takeoff from runway 27, full length departure, so no shift. Flaps, we select flap 1. THS is the trim setting, which I will enter again some random number. Insert the flex temperature. Then insert V1, VR, V2 as calculated. Uh, 
transition altitude, thrust action acceleration altitudes as per the operator's policy. It cannot be less than 400 feet AGL and the engine out acceleration altitude. Last P stands for progress where you could insert the departure VOR or the departure runway and you can also take a look at the cruise level and the optimum level as per the winds that you've inserted. After this, the pilot monitoring will cross check the entries and thereafter we will continue with the preparation of the cockpit. Feel free to leave your suggestions in the comment section below and connect with us on Instagram for more updates. See you next time.